Good morning. It is day three of our RV trip. We're having coffee. So we're getting ready to head out. And we're heading to um, Biloxi, as I mentioned last night. So it is 7.53 Central Standard Time. Biloxi is um, almost three hours away. And we don't have anything particular planned in Biloxi, so we're just gonna be there for one night. Maybe do a little casino action tonight. The adults. That's about it. We don't really have anything. Maybe um, go to the pier, go see the beach. Nothing much. We'll just play it by ear and kind of just let the day flow. I'm having a um, caramel macchiato that um, I got from the store and actually Swiss Miss makes makes it. And it's like little packs that look like the Swiss Miss hot chocolate. But it's coffee. It's actually uh, caramel macchiato coffee. I found it in one supermarket and then I never found it again. So... It's sweet, but it's good. So we're just in the process of tying everything down because <laughs> we've been still for two days, but we're getting ready to move. So we have to put everything away. So once you get moving, everything starts sliding all over the place inside of the RV. So we don't want that. So, so I haven't, you know, done my hair yet or any of that stuff. Just woke up a few minutes ago. And what you see is what you get. The <laughs> so um that's about it guys we're um gonna get ourselves together and head out and we'll see you soon <laughs> what is it? Yeah, he's up here. I guess that makes more sense. We have to do a trash. Oh. A trash run. Let's see if I can do this with one hand and not throw my phone in there. <laughs> that didn't go well. <laughs> like that didn't go well at all. Trying to film and do it. You hold that. <laughs> Ow! Just hurt my nail. The seat doesn't feel the same that it did when I was coming. I think we moved it. Yeah, I moved it. Yeah, we moved it, so it's not comfortable anymore. So. I know I'm, I need to fix my chair. I was trying to avoid him getting out. <sighs> Yay, we're getting off the exit for Biloxi. It went really quick today. We went from Destin to Biloxi. The time went by really fast. Did y'all 
I mean Walmart? No, it's on the theater. Oh. The theater. Oh man. on the right hand side uh, and we should be coming up on the um, RV site the heck oh yeah it's a, a cleaning it's he's cleaning yeah. mm -hmm. Street cleaning. Oh. It's cleaning? Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure is. Oh, the sand. Is it a sand? Yeah. I've never seen that. people are crossing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Probably blowing mm -hmm. over here. Most mm -hmm. of the sand is a lot of rain. It's so pretty. So pretty, so pretty. What a mountain turn Probably it. Remember, that there's a Waffle House on property. Yep. Next right. Mm -hmm. This is. It should be. It's at next right. It should be at. Yeah, I see the sign here. It says turn right again. And Gulf Beach Resort. This is where we're going. So this is strange. Yep. Here we are. And we're really close. We're at 32. So it literally should be right in this section. Where's 32? Where are the numbers? I think that was it. And we are all checked in. It's a small RV park but I like it because everything is close by the clubhouse is right there the pool is right next to that so I really like that <laughs> somebody has their doggy up there in their RV so we are hooking up ours I'm saying we like I'm doing anything our RV is currently being hooked up to the water and electricity and all of that and then um it's so beautiful in Biloxi it's super warm it's in the 80s so we're probably gonna put our swimsuits on and head to the beach which is right across the street and the water looks much calmer than it did in Destin so I'm excited about that They're pulling out <laughs> and we're pulling in. People have really nice setups, like awesome chairs and speakers and like a whole um, area rug. It's just awesome. This is like RV life. That's where I want to be one day. I want to have an RV. That is my retirement dream, to own an RV. It makes sense for me since I'm all over the place anyway, since I'm never still, never home. Oh. <laughs> I don't see like a. Well, it's not gonna be heavy. 
called Harrison County Sand Beach. No dogs. Look at the jet skis. This is the Gulf, but I, the water doesn't look um, clear to me, so. The water probably would have been clear in Destin, if not for the storm. But I thought this one would have been clear since it's so calm, but it doesn't look clear. It's still beautiful though, it's still going in. <laughs> At least to wet my, um, my feet, maybe a little bit more. Excuse the wind. I did finally get a microphone this morning, which I'm very excited about, but I didn't have time to hook it up yet. So when I get back to the RV, I'll hook up my new, um, my new toy tripod with microphone, light, and the whole nine. So I'm excited. But for now, this is what it is. I have a nice little setup here. You can rent kayaks, a uh, tricycle, that looks fun. And you can also rent the jet skis. I don't know if I would be comfortable jet skiing in this water. I like blue water. <laughs> so probably not. But it's nice that they have that option. It feels beautiful out here. Just a little breeze. All right, let's see how the water feels. Let's put my little toes in. Let's see, I wore my water shoes today. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, it feels nice. It's cool, but not cold. It's refreshing, which I love. So it is refreshing. It is refreshing. But as you can see, you can't see through it. It's not very clear. It's kind of greenish. Uh, well, you know what? I can see down to the sand, but not very clear. It's not too bad. There's a little surf shop. Oh, you know what? I think the surf shop is across the street, so it's not on this side. So we are on Beach Boulevard. And literally, we came out of our RV site, which is attached to the Waffle House, and we just crossed the street, and we were here. So, I love, that's why I booked it. It was super convenient. I called first to make sure that it really was as close to the beach. He said it was. So, we're just here for one night, so we wanted to be close to stuff to enjoy it before we head on to, um, New Orleans. Do you guys say New Orleans or New Orleans? I never know which is the right one to say. New Orleans or New Orleans. Okay. Let's get into the water. Video, right?
the parking. They have RV parking. I think I meant across the street. Okay, we just parked. They really do have free RV parking at the Hard Rock in Biloxi, so that's good to know if you are RVing. We called them just to make sure, and they told us exactly where we needed to park. So if you're driving a car, you would park right next to in the parking lot. There's just like an underground parking garage for regular cars. But if you are in a truck or an RV, the parking is across the street and there's an empty lot where the only ones there it's for um, trucks and RVs so that's good to know it doesn't cost anything and you can stay there as long as you want they said there's no limits of the time that we stay there you can even stay there overnight for free now there aren't any amenities there's no there aren't any full hookups or anything like that it's just a place to park I'm guessing they hope that you spend the night at the hotel or you um, you know, spend some time at the casino, the restaurants, that kind of thing, use their amenities. So um, it's a nice perk, a nice perk if you are. So we are going in here to have dinner and hang out a little bit. And then when we are done, we will go back to the RV site where we already have um, paid to stay for tonight. I've been waiting on them for almost 10 years. Oh, wow. Oh. Looks like you're on Let's vacation. Go. Hey! <laughs> Say hi. Who are you recording for? For my YouTube channel. Oh, you have a YouTube channel. Yeah. This is going to be a fun thing. <laughs> thank you. Y'all need a couple minutes to look at Yes, please. Thank you. Would you like to start with an appetizer? I haven't gotten that far oh, yet. What you thank you. What's on the menu? Um, we are doing these starters here and then this small This is really good. Uh, margarita. Oh, um, Friday night, happy hour. Cheers. This is uh, two for 25, three for $5 more, you get three appetizers, and for $40, you get four different appetizers. That's what I was thinking about doing. This is a really good Ooh, Festival 2020, so, yeah. Some of my favorite things on there are the honey soy wings, the um, pork Those sound amazing. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do too. I'm going to start with the uh, all-American slider. Are you okay with the coleslaw that come on top? Or would you like me to No, I don't want to top. Not at all? Mm -hmm. Or do you want that on the side? Please. Would you like any ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise for your uh, slider? I, 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 I think okay. I'm going to hold on. Uh, We're going to... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. You go. Uh, of the 
baby back weight ribs. That's what it's best thing on the menu, friend. Oh, wow. It, it, it comes with uh, french fries. Do you need any ketchup for your french fries? Oh, no, no. You got it, babe. <laughs> Ma'am? We're going to do the 3 for 30. Okay. We're going to share it. All right. We're going to do the honey soy wings. Yes, ma'am. And that's the served with ranch. Is that okay? It's served with ranch on oh, the Oh, can side. we get blue cheese instead? Okay. Just blue cheese. Just blue cheese. Yes, ma'am. Um, the twisted mac and cheese fries. And you're okay with all the toppings that come on top? Yep. Okay. What was the third thing we were doing? Full pork nachos? No, because we don't. I wish we could do the nachos with chicken, but. Yeah. yeah, the pork, no. We can either do another um, honey wing or... You can do a, uh, another crispy. honey soy wing or the Santa Fe spring rolls. What do you think? Do another wing? That'd be better for your... Belly. Let's do Let's do another and wing. Cheese yeah. for those two honey wings. Yes, please. So we'll do two wings and a mac and cheese fries. Okay. Yes, Perfect. Thank you. Okay, my name is Marianne. Thank you, Marianne. Where is... Uh, Ginger... Yeah. So when she bring the place, I'm gonna switch mine with yours. No. You want to save this place? No. That thing is huge. A huge, um, what is it? A hot, it's a hot fudge brownie sundae? Oh, wow. We are just leaving Hot Rock. Oh my gosh, I'm so full and so sleepy. And it's only like, I don't know, maybe nine o'clock. Boy, oh boy. But RV life, you are more tired than usual because you wake up early, at least we do. We've been waking up at four o'clock a.m., going back to sleep for a little while. So, I'm tired y'all. I thought I was gonna be able to hang out, stay at the casino. <sighs> Not hashtag old lady problems. Alright, so uh guess we should go this way. I was gonna try to do a picture there before at the guitar, but we did it before and it's just too close. You can't really get a good picture of it, so I'll set it out. I guess we're just gonna head back to the RV park and see what we have energy for. Maybe play a game or maybe just go to sleep. We shall see. 
<sighs> but dinner was good at Hot Rock Cafe. It really was good. I wasn't really expecting that we were going to eat there, but it turned out to be really good. Haven't eaten there in years at Hot Rock. Let me show y'all what it looks like at night. It's really pretty. Probably should walk up to it. It looks much prettier lit up at night than it does during the day. try to get as close as possible so you all can see the whole guitar and okay, there we go that's better it's not as crowded as I thought it would be this weekend it is a Friday night in Biloxi and I honestly thought it was going to be crowder Cro crowded -er. <laughs> see told y'all I was tired I thought I was gonna be more crowded but with everything going on, I guess it's not. It's not a holiday weekend. So I guess that could be it too. Even though um, kids are homeschooled, they, a lot of kids are doing that distance learning. So they have to be glued to computers. So I guess families have to stay home even though, even though they're working from home. And that's one of the main reasons why I didn't want to do distance learning. I did not want him to be glued to a computer all day. So we have workbooks and all the books and we just do it ourselves. So. See, there's not much that much traffic out. I can't even speak, y'all. Boy, oh boy. waiting for the light so we can cross back over. Because remember, we parked across the street from the Hard Rock. Hard Rock, oh goodness. <laughs> because they have the free RV parking. So we're, if I can zoom in enough, I can show you guys. No, okay, it doesn't, it won't let me zoom in that much. But anyway, we're here and the parking lot is that way for the RVs at the parking and the trucks, which is free. Whew. Me not being able to speak, that's letting me know that I probably should just call it a night and get some sleep. Oh, Lord. You're telling me to cross. I thought it said stop. Oh, goodness. I almost got run over. Yeah, I'm definitely going home to go to sleep. <laughs> Oh man. Oh. Try to do something to my hair tonight. After after we went to the beach, I had to wash my hair and thought I was doing a little something something. Okay, we're gonna try again across the street. This time, yes. We have the walk signs across the street. <laughs> Is that grass? Oh, like I do not want to walk through the grass. Okay, I can do gravel. I'm not fooling with the grass at night. snakes and who knows what else. No, oh, thank you. I'll pass.
Hmm. How do we get across? It's not very well lit over here. Okay, let's see. I have to do a little step here. Ooh, is that mud? Rocks. Okay, I'll go this way. on. It's tough to do stuff with one hand. <laughs> okay. This windshield has got to go. Like it needs a serious scrub. another casino the Beau Rivage you can't see it with the windshield I'm so sorry but this casino also has free overnight RV parking okay. we just made it back so every time you leave and come back from your um, parking spot at the RV site, you have to hook up again. So we had to hook up again the spot. Which hose is this? Is this the water hose? It's electricity. This is the electricity. No, the water, ho the water hose is blue. So this is the electricity plugged in here. And we're parked at number 32. Yeah, you don't have to hook up, right? I mean, if you don't, then you'll be using your generator. So, maybe if you own your RV, that's different. But in the rental, the um, generator, to use the generator, it costs $3.50 per hour. So, for us, it was more cost effective to stay at RV sites every night to be able to hook up to the water the electricity and the sewage because all of that is included when you stay at the RV sites at least the ones that we booked so I don't know if there are anywhere it's not included but for us it was included I booked five different well six I booked six different RV sites for two in the two week period and all of them um, were inclusive of full service hookups water sewer and electricity so, so that's just part of it, hooking up, disconnecting, and then reconnecting when you come back if you are going to drive it to dinner or to go sightseeing or whatever. But yeah, guys, I think that's it for me for tonight. So I'm going to call it a night. And um, tomorrow we're heading to New Orleans. So... We will see you in the morning. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any of our videos. Good morning. It's day four of our RV trip. 
It's early in the morning. It's like 7.15 and we are going to head to the Waffle House. It is right um, outside of the RV park so we can just walk there. Ooh, it's bright. I'm gonna have to put my shades on or I'll be squinting the whole time. So let's do that. <laughs> Mm. I'm trying to figure this out, y'all, with the one hand thing. <laughs> My eyes are very sensitive to the sun, so nine times out of ten, I am wearing shades year round. It's beautiful. It feels so nice. I'm actually. It's warm and warm in Biloxi. <clears throat> it feels so breezy. You guys probably want to see the RVs, not me. <laughs> They're so pretty. There's some really, like this one right here. He's ginormous. Look at that big boy. That thing has to be minimum 45 feet. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but he's big. There's some really nice ones. And that's how close we're going to Waffle House. If you can see the sign, like we're <laughs> this close to Waffle House. It's just right outside the gate. So we don't have a grill here at this RV park. Um, so we've been eating out since we've been here. We do have a stove. I can cook. I did cook the first couple of days. But if the Waffle House is that close and it's also a good price point, we are gonna go out to eat. So that was a learning lesson for me that next time we do this, next time we do an RV, I need to make sure that we have grills at the parks. So what I was told was because RV parks are not, some RV parks are not considered campsites they don't necessarily have grills especially if they're within a city um like the same thing happened in destin that's really like city um biloxi a city they have to follow the city ordinances so they aren't allowed to necessarily have grills i did see a guy next to us in his rv he does have like a mini grill with a propane tank <clears throat> so i'm guessing that's allowed i don't know I saw that he had one. So I need to really make sure next time that I check. For this particular trip, all our sites are already booked, so I can't change them. So that's just a learning lesson. Just keep that in mind if you are, if you are doing this. Check to make sure that if, if you're interested in having grills, we did. We wanted a barbecue. We want to do s'mores, and we haven't been able to do any of that because we have not had a grill yet. So I called ahead yesterday to our next stop which is New Orleans and she said that they do have a common area with charcoal grills that we can use as long as they're available so that's good we already have charcoal you know in the RV we brought a big bag of charcoal with us and s'mores ingredients and all that stuff so um we will be able to do some kind of grilling there so that's exciting and this is across from the beach which you saw yesterday we went to the beach yesterday Oh, where's the sun is kind of uh, making it dark but Waffle House Beach that's a um, gift shop over there that mint green building look at this look at this guys So I can actually see the water from my bed. When I got up this morning and looked outside the window from the bed in the RV, I could actually see the water. So that is awesome. So this was a good find. Even though they don't have a grill, we have a great view and we are like right across from the beach. So I am not mad about that. Yeah. 
coffee. Yeah, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. What do you guys get when you go to Waffle House? I always get the same thing. Chicken and eggs. I don't even need to see a menu. I get the same thing every single time. And I get um, um, grits, grits with cheese. Do you guys get grits or hash browns? Very rarely do I get hash browns. I love their grits. And chicken. Thank you. I think we're good. Do you need this butter or did you already use butter? No, I already used Okay. Pass me the salt, the salt please, the peppers over here. Oh. <laughs> Battle of the doggies. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> That's a big doggy. Where's the food? <coughs> Pocket, why do you think you can battle with that big dog? Don't break my leg. Oh my god.